The Must Have In Place List Part 2. Today on the Wandering But Not Lost podcast. Welcome to Wandering But Not Lost, your online source for finding balance so that you can align, connect, and prosper. I'm living right here and now, and I don't want to miss out. Is this what life's all about? The world is calling, and I'm listening. Yeah, I'm listening. And now, your hosts, Jen O'Brien and Matt Emerson. Well, hello. This is the Wandering But Not Lost podcast, where real estate and reality meet. This episode 135. You can find all of our show notes, as always, over at WBNLpodcast.com. Jen O'Brien, I've been anxiously awaiting part two of our series, The Must Do List. It's going to be really good. Last week was awesome. I listened to it like, oh, I don't know, 15 times. Wonderful. Well, let's That's dive it. into part two of the must have list for your real estate business and specifically your team. You're listening to the Wandering But Not Lost podcast, where real estate and reality meet. Join us and subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Google Play, and now on YouTube. All right, everybody. Episode 135, Wandering But Not Lost podcast. Show notes over at wbnlpodcast.com. Last week, we talked about four. If you missed that one, go back and check it out. I'll just recap what those four were, and I'm going to pick up on the next five um, items. Uh, the fifth one is just really, if you have a team, we talked about a real estate software solution, right? We're KB Core fans. We talked about the power of the monthly local newsletter with some success stories that it really does work. We talked about my love affair with G Suite. <laughs> yes, we did. And why those tools are powerful for you as an individual, especially a team. And then we talked about less is more, but really powerful marketing materials and using things like Canva. Breakthrough Broker, Keeping Current Matters. Well, today I'm going to start with number five on the must-have list, and it is not going to be, you know, another one that I probably talk about a lot, but it, it, I'm putting it into action with our team right now, and it's your online presence and client reviews. Right. And it, and I, I'm talking about things that are required to put on your must-have list that you have to do some work if you've not done them before, and then they become part of your system. So all I want to say about this, we've written lots of materials, blog posts, we've done podcasts on this. All I'm going to cover in number five is you've got to have profiles on Zillow, which goes to Trulia, Realtor.com, Homes.com if you want to, Homelight.com is definitely doing a ton of advertising and those are all, this is all free stuff here. I think you need to be on Yelp. You definitely need to be on LinkedIn. You need a Facebook page so you can do advertising and it's a place to put things that you're hoping to drive traffic back to. Instagram and YouTube, if you're going to use those, Instagram, if you're into it, YouTube, if you do video and you need a Google my business uh, thing that, uh, you know, you're, when somebody Googles your name, your business places comes up and there's places that you can do that. Most of those places, except for the social media, except for Facebook, you can get reviews on and there's a whole process to getting reviews and you have got to make it happen. I don't, uh, Matt, I, I, I'm back doing a lot of coaching so many agents I talk to don't have it, half of this in place and they don't have the reviews that they need. It is, it's just a must have. That's why it's on my must have list. That's right. It's a requirement in this day and age. It's been like this for years. I've been talking about this for years, at least six years. I've been talking about this. You have to have reviews. You have to get clients to give feedback. This is how people are making decisions. Now on the team piece, Specifically with Zillow and Realtor.com, very easy to keep t create team profiles. So I'm in the process when the very first thing I did with all my team members is this very thing. I sat, I Googled them, I did coaching with them, and I showed them what they needed to do to fix up their profiles that some of them maybe had, um, you know, two companies ago was on their profiles. <laughs> okay. Right. So fix it up. And then as a team leader, I invited them to my team. So they have their standalone profile. And when I invite them to the team on Realtor and on Zillow, now I have 10 people that I can have 10 people on my profile. Um, not everybody's all connected. I think we're up to five or six now. And any of their reviews all roll up into your team reviews. That's beautiful. It's quite brilliant. Okay. So you know, people I think are more apt to give a review now than they uh, used to be mm -hmm. in the past. But here's the deal. And we talk about this all the time. You have to freaking ask for the review. And I have more than once. And yeah. Than I've once. actually been very impressed. I've worked with a few companies over the last six months or last three months while I was down in Florida. Uh, just, you know, like moving companies and just... Just people that, you know, that I that I didn't know from Adam, right? But it, in their follow up, I got the asking, please review us on Yelp, or yep. please review, and it 
it impressed me because you don't see it that often. And that's what I think, you know, that, and I did, of course, I'm going to do that. Review? Yeah, good. Of course, yeah. of course, I'm going to, you know, and I, I mean, part of that's because we preach it so much, but, but I would not have done that if they wouldn't have sent me that. And that's a good point. It. And businesses are better, that type of business, but people sometimes don't see themselves as a business owner right. here in our real estate. World. That's exactly you right. are a business owner and you need a review. Uh, every single time. And you got to do it in the beginning, at, right? Let them know that you're going to ask for it. You're going to remind them and then you're going to ask for it after it closes. And then you're going to ask about five more times because then they'll finally do it. Yep. That's our system. We've actually, you could Google our uh, search, our, our archive, our vault, and you'll see details that we've covered in previous episodes. And downloads. And, and downloads, everything you need to do it. All free, free to you. There you go. Number you just have to six, find it. You have to find it, okay? Or reach out to us, and we might help you. Yeah. Mastery of your real estate tools is number six on my list. Now, what do I mean by that? Ooh. There are tools that come with your association in the realtor association that you have, perhaps company tools, and I'm going to list a bunch of them right here. And I I say that this is a must-have because I honestly went back. Number one is Matrix. Matrix is the software we use for the MLS here in Nevada, and it's it's a popular one in most uh, yeah. states. We have in California. Uh, I'm going to be getting my Florida license and they use Matrix, which is very cool. But I got to tell you something. 28 years in the real estate business, I took a Matrix class the other day uh, via Zoom. And I was like, oh, my God, what? I didn't even know I could do that. I didn't That's know I could crazy. do that. So I'm having everybody on my team go back through a matrix class because there is more to mastery of that system than just setting up a search for someone. Unbelievable. You have to be a master of your software, and I bet you aren't. Um, and I'm just going to list the things that we have in our LVR, our, our Las Vegas uh, Realtor Association that I use and I have my team using. Next is New Home Software. They are providing not one, now two. We have a builder's update. We have something called New Home Source Professional. And I say this because if you're listening in your if you're listening from anywhere, I guarantee, because when I coach people around the country, I'm like, let's go look at your stuff that's available in and because um, I'll talk about like this new homes resource, uh, new home, new home source Pro. professional, or I'll talk about e-property watch. And most associations have these tools and the agencies didn't even know they had it. Absolutely not free. It's not any additional cost because it comes with the membership that you're paying for. To right. But you're paying for that. And a lot of people yeah. are like, what am I paying this for? Well, that's what you're paying it for. So for new home lot. software, we totally use this. We're trying to work on selling more new homes. And that is your database for finding new homes. E-Property Watch is by CoreLogic. That's a tool that we use to be able to put people on a, on a monthly campaign that are seller leads, but also people in our database. Uh, local stats. Oh my gosh, I, every MLS has that. That's where I pull my stats out to go with the uh, stuff I get from the uh, Keeping Current Matters to put my market update. Um, love it. I, we also do the weekly stats courtesy of David Squire. Um, so the stat, you can get the weekly stats by in your MLS, you know, in your mastery of your local real estate tools. RPR is another tool. Transaction desk is the desk is the thing we use to be able to pull up all forms. Showing time is a national thing that everybody uses that I, I found a lot of agents don't have pushed back on it. And as I've gotten to use it, there's more that you can do with that. And it's brilliant for managing things. So um, those are the tools that you have to master that I recommend if you're local and something like that. So just go look at your association and don't underestimate the value of going and taking a class and making sure you're using those. And then why I make a big deal about this is because when you bring somebody onto your team, you are the person who understands all that and you can then hold them accountable and maybe help them or do some training and coaching around it. Uh, or have them go to a class on it. Number seven, um, I just called transaction management. So understanding the very, here's the tips on this. So you've got to have transaction management and the tools that go around this. So first of all, you're going to use whatever your company is using. Pretty much, I don't know of a company that's not using some kind of a paperless right. transaction. Skyslope we've used, is what we currently use. We've used Dot Loop before. So you have that, but that's your company solution. Um, you, I think you have to have your own backup. Where, where do you think mine is? Drive, driver Dropbox. So in your own driver Dropbox, you should have a copy of all of your transaction paperwork. Even though you have it in your, in your uh, company system, I just think it's extra to do that. I think you also have to have an e-signature tool that you're comfortable with. And that is DocuSign or AuthentiSign if it's Transaction Desk. Generally, there's one inside of your, 
your paperless transaction, or you could just have a DocuSign. I mean, in this day and age, you have to be able to um, send us for signatures electronically. Um, also part of your transaction management and on the must have list is a checklist for buyers and sellers, A to Z, everything that you need to do. Again, we have all that in our drive and it's something that uh, people can take and copy and use a checklist for. Uh, last two on this, leverage the company TC. Oh my gosh, just had my first official single closing since starting the team back up. And I couldn't have done it without Danny. Shout out to Danny at Urban Nest Realty. She totally took care of me. And I had to actually like back off and go, oh, she's like, Jan, I take care of that for you. I'm like, oh, nice. Uh, because I'm a little anal about my files and, and handling all the details because I make sure the agents know how to do it. But oh my gosh, peace of mind, having somebody help you, which leads to leverage the company TC. And if you're going to build a team, you're ultimately going to maybe do that and ultimately hire an assistant. And having an assistant is something our team is looking into doing. We're doing some stuff with a virtual assistant right now, but we'll ultimately get to a place where Causal and I, we can know that we can take 20 to 25% off the tasks that we do to run our team once we have an administrative assistant, huge. which then is a benefit to our team, right? Sure. And number eight is training and coaching. So what's on your must-have list for training and coaching to support you and your team is, first of all, leverage any company training that your company has. Uh, then your local training that you might get through your realtor association. Like I just mentioned, I went back and took a, I'm like, oh, I don't need a matrix class. And I said, you know what? I'm going to take that class. And that was smart. Yeah. And there's now two or three other things I'm waiting to go take because I, even though you think you know it, you don't until you go take it again. And then you're like, wow. So I have two or three other of the systems that I just talked about that I'll be taking some classes on like RPR and some other things that I'm not hundred percent familiar with. And I want to be able to leverage all the things that are free and all the things that can make a difference to our team and our clients. Okay. Um, uh, leverage a, so you have your company, your association, and then you have something like WBNL coaching or some other third party company that you might be able to have additional training. And that's one of the things our company does here at WBNL coaching is you as a team leader can get uh, systems training. We have a core class that's called connecting your real estate business plus real estate, social media that you could, you could have, and it's very affordable. I mean, if you have a bigger team, you need to reach out to us and we can work out um, group pricing for you. But I mean, our courses start at 147, 197 for a lifetime access to just so much content. We should be charging more for it, honestly. Oh. Um, obviously we have a class on team building that you need to go check out. We have a free introduction to that. We have a free business plan that you could go get a, a sense of how we train. And, uh, honestly, we have a lot of brokers that leverage our online training. The other course I'd recommend if you're building a team besides our core level entry stuff is what we call Rybab, running your business as a business. Right now it has our 30 day challenge in it, which just has amazing content. If I do say so myself that Matt and David Squire and I did at the beginning of the COVID-19 and we put together a 30 day challenge, work from home challenge, where we really talk about zoom and specifics and how to do buyer and seller consultations. And that's all part of the, the training. And what we're adding to that uh, is um, the way David and I coach right now, our, our approach to coaching, we're actually recording it so that you could get the program for $197 and have us uh, coaching you. Okay. Yeah. So, We've been, hey, WBNL has been uh, in place for almost five years now. When Jan and I started this company and the whole philosophy was, you know, we're not going to give you the what, we're going to give you the how to do it. And that's what really differentiates us from everybody else out there. So definitely head on over to WBNLcoaching.com uh, uh, and check it out. And if anybody's listening, we offer a free consultation, give you a free 30 minutes of my time. You could talk about what are your challenges, what is it that you're looking for, and I can help. I'll give you some free advice. I'll give you some guidance. I'll give you some tips. I'll point you in the direction of our free stuff, and I'll talk to you about what I think would work for you. The last part on training and coaching, the whole reason is you've got to get, you've got to invest in yourself so you can be there for your, for your team. I really believe the best teams are the teams that are coached. Now, whether you're hiring somebody to help you with that or you're you're getting coaching so you can turn around and provide that same experience, that is what's going on with my team. It's about one-on-one -on -one coaching Cosmo and I do to help them be better, providing training. We do it in monthly training, monthly meetings, and then one-on-one -on -one sessions. You got you to pay it forward. You got to give it back. And here's the last of the must-have list, and this is specifically for team. The last two were for teams, really. 
you need training and coaching for yourself if you're not building a team anyway. And if you are, then you need all that so you can leverage it with your team. The last one is recruiting and retention and or recruiting and onboarding. You have to have a system in place for do you have a recruiting brochure? Can you sit in one page or can you share something or a video or something if you're wanting to recruit people to your team that is your value proposition? Uh, so it's your recruiting presentation, if you will. But again, less is more, simple little Canva document, a couple, a one pager that you could shoot to somebody. If you did a transaction with someone and you want to talk to them about joining your team, you have to have all that ready. And the reason I created this must have list is I'm going through all this right now. And I'm like, God, I need that. I need that. I need that. It just goes on to this massive list of things to do. But once you have it, you can just go to your convenient drive and go here's my recruiting <laughs> folder. Let me go send that to this person. Okay. Um, onboarding checklist. I created an onboarding checklist. It's what I have in our training that we've done. I just took it and customized it for my team. And it, it lit, and I have a brand new person who's new to the business and we, they've already had their second appointment with me while they're waiting on their license to come in. And I have them uh, working on the things that they need to do while they can be productive and learn our systems before their license comes in get their list together, all these things, right? And then everything I've just talked about today, by the way, are things that my team members have to learn. So the must have, and what we talked about last week, these are all the things that over time, I indoctrinate everybody on the team and they end up having all these things. And they never had them before for the most part. So now that's part of being the value of being a team member. And this is what we teach you when you're, when you're getting any of our training around building a team or just being better at your own business systems, or if you hire us to, to coach you, we're going to help you with that. And then the last piece on the retention is what I just mentioned in the last bullet with uh, number eight, which is providing that training and coaching and personal and professional development to your agents is, is what I think people really want. So, you know, it's, so it, it's, it it's interesting, Jan O'Brien, because checklists are really vital. You know, you could look at any successful entity, you know, not in, inside is, and really outside of real estate. And it's all about not missing steps in the process. If you miss a step, it's not going to, you're not going to reach the peak. You're not going to hit that success. You've experienced that in the military. I mean, for crying out loud, SOPs are what it's all about, SOP, right? Baby. I worked at Disney for years and that entire company is run on SOPs and checklists and making sure that you don't miss the step. So if you think that it's a waste of time to put those things in place, you are absolutely wrong. They're going to be the things that are going to make your life so much more easy and everybody oh. that comes on your team is going to have the same process. And that oh, is where you do it. not miss the step. Listen, go through the pain and it is painful. And it can it, be. It is, it is, it's painful from the perspective of the pressure or stress of how much you have to do, but it doesn't last forever. You, you just do it. You put it, yeah. you strategically do it and you, get, you need some help. You might need help. That's why we're here. That's what That's our right. whole purpose of existing is, is to help people break it down into small chunks and get it done. So there you have it. Must have list. Next week, I'm going to talk about the apps that we use on our team, the actual apps on our mobile devices that are helping us in the field, that are making our lives easier, and how we can be a mobile agent and, and get the most out of, you know, what, you know, there's a million apps, but I'm just going to break it down to the ones that I think you have to have. That is going to be good stuff. Can't wait. All right. Done. You're listening to the Wandering But Not Lost podcast, where real estate and reality meet. Join us and subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Google Play, and now on YouTube. Well, that's a wrap for episode 135 of the Wandering But Not Lost podcast, where real estate and reality meet. As always, our show notes over at WBNLpodcast.com. John O'Brien, part two of the must list the must have list fantastic stuff in there as well can't wait for next week though because i think the mobile the app the app episode is going to be one for the the books because i you know it's so vile right now that you're able to be the mobile agent correct correct can't wait to get back out and start doing some wandering i have really really missed it so i'm looking forward to doing that myself i've got a couple trips planned in the over the the fall and winter so that's going to be nice as well good stuff happening jenna brand i don't i maybe i don't want to jinx us um, saying this but i think this was the first episode in six months we haven't actually used the word covid no until now I know, but still, that's a All big right. deal. So maybe we're, we're moving along we're here. We're pushing ourselves forward. That's right. More and more. Exactly. Good stuff. We'll see you next week for more on Team Success Series. Speak, speaking of that, though, get up, get out, mask up, and be forever wandering, but not lost. Mm -hmm.